If you want or need to add essential security to your Microsoft 365 account, you should consider enabling security default in Azure Active Directory. Azure Active Directory is a cloud-based identity and access management service that is used by Microsoft 365. It is part of your Microsoft 365 subscription. In this video, I will try to explain what the security defaults are, why you should use it, and how to enable it in the Microsoft 365 admin panel. According to Microsoft, more than 99.9% .9 of identity-related attacks can be stopped by using multi-factor authentication and blocking legacy authentication methods. This is what you will get when enabling the security defaults. The security default is a set of pre-configured security settings that are easy to implement in Microsoft 365 at no extra cost. When enabled, you will be requiring all users to register for Azure Active Directory multi-factor authentication, requiring administrators to do multi-factor authentication. Admin or administrators will always be asked to use multi-factor authentication requiring users to do multi-factor authentications when necessary. Users will need to use multi-factor authentication whenever it's necessary. It is based on factors like location, device, role, and task. You also will be blocking legacy authentications protocols. There are authentications protocols, like a basic authentication, that are not considered secure enough. These type of authentications are blocked when enabling the security defaults. It means that your apps will need to use modern authentication. By the way, Microsoft is blocking basic authentication regardless of the security default beyond December 2022. You need to be aware that if Microsoft 365 users use protocols like a pop tree or IMAP in Microsoft Outlook and other email apps, users won't be able to connect to their email accounts. At the moment I'm recording this video, Microsoft Outlook does not support modern authentication for protocols like a pop tree or IMAP. Users will need to switch to Exchange, which can use modern authentication in Outlook and in other email apps as well. In any case, this could be a subject for another video. When enabling the security defaults, you also will be protecting privileged activities like access to the Azure portal. Multi-factor authentication will be required when users try to access certain services in Azure Active Directory. Now, how to enable the security default? Let's go to our computer and I will show you the simple steps that you need to follow. We will now access our Microsoft account. We need to be aware that only administrators will be able to enable the security default for Microsoft 365. We can access our account. We open our browser and we go to login.microsoftonline.com or also portal.office.com. We will enter our username for our test account. Click on Next. And we enter our password and click on Sign In. Since this is a test account, I'm not interested in reducing the number of times that we are asked to sign in. Then click on No. Within our Microsoft 365 portal, we will need to click on the Admin icon, which we can find it here. If for any reason we don't see it here, we can click on the nine little dots on the top left corner and we will see it here. We are now within the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. From here, we will need to access Azure Active Directory Admin Center. We click on the three dashes to expand the menu, and then click on Show All. If we scroll down, we will see all the Admin Centers that we will be able to access within our Microsoft 365 account. Then we will click on Azure Active Directory.
as you will see, the option to enable the security default is not as easy to find as you probably imagine. Let's see the steps. We will need to click on Azure Active Directory. Then on the right, we will need to scroll down and we will need to click on Properties. Within Properties, to the right, we need to scroll down again and we will find here Manage Security Defaults. And we will find the option to enable it. Enable Security Defaults. Security defaults are basic identity security mechanism recommended by Microsoft. Then we need to click on Yes and then click on Save. Security defaults are now enabled. The next time a user tries to log in, they will be asked to complete the process to register within Azure Active Directory and to start using multi-factor authentication. Let's see what the user will see the next time he tries to log in. I will try to log in again from a different browser. We enter the username, click on Next, and the password. And this is what the user will see. He can skip the registration for 14 days, or he can proceed with the registration. Then click on Next. The user will be presented with the instructions that he needs to follow. The user will need to download the app and complete the registration. After enabling the security default, all users will have 14 days to register for Azure Active Directory multi-factor authentication by using the Microsoft Authenticator app. This app can be easily downloaded from your App Store on iPhone and Android devices as well. After the 14 days period, users won't be able to log in until the registration is complete. The 14 days period begin after the first successfully sign in after the security default is enabled. There are other security options available in Microsoft 55, like conditional access. If you are planning to use or are already using it, then security default should not be enabled. This set of security tools might be in conflict. At the end of the day, security should be part of your IT business essentials. So if your business or organization uses Microsoft 365, why not taking advantage of these tools? As a Microsoft 365 administrator or user, I hope you find value in this video. If you do, please give a thumbs up. If you have any question or comment, please leave it here down below. And if you want to see more videos like this one, or want to find it easy again in the future, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you, and I hope to see you next time.